Hey everyone, it's time to return to Siren. Is it a dream? What is this? Haven't I been here before? Here before. I wonder if anybody's here. Then again, why would they be sitting in the dark? Hello? <laughs> well, a lot of confusion as we begin this level. One, we're starting with a brand new character, Risa Onda. We haven't seen her appear in the game before. We don't know who she is or why she's here, but she does seem very confused and scared about what's going on around her. And what's she carrying? Just a flashlight. It's better equipped than some of the characters we've been using, but she does not have a weapon. And where are we right now? We're in a house, or rather we're next to a house. And the objective is to escape the house. Well, if we look around on this map, we see we see where we are, but it looks like there's only one place that's an exit, and it's actually directly in front of us. So if we're trying to escape the house, maybe we should just walk forward and see what happens. But then again, when Risa just ran in here, it looked like there was someone approaching from that direction, but let's just head out over there from where we came in and sight jack. And yeah, there is a sniper Shibito standing right there. If we try to leave the house through there, we'll just get shot. A lot of that going around lately in these levels. So we're kind of stuck in here, and there are other Shibito around. Or at least one. We saw the flashlight of someone coming around. This board seems like it's sticking out a little bit, but we can't do anything with it. We can hear a hammering of some other Shibito, so let's sight check around. Like, this guy is coming around, but I think we have a little bit of time before he reaches us. Alright, there's someone hammering. Hold on. He's almost here. So yeah, we saw one person, one Shibito hammering. I think there is a second somewhere around. But they're both inside the house, so we don't have to worry about them right now. The only one we really do have to worry about is this guy. Yep. Because he is just walking around this house. He's patrolling. But it looks like he's lost track of us. So when Shibito, who's walking around, and will get in our way, and one other, a sniper, who's blocking the exit. It looks like now he's going back the opposite way he came. So we're gonna have to look around and try to figure out how... Well, how are we going to get rid of that sniper at the entrance, since that's the only exit from this place? Well, the hints the map gives us tells us where the entrance to the house is, tells us where the kitchen is, the doghouse, the circuit breaker, actually two circuit breakers, and we're standing next to one of them right now. There's a storage shed and a cottage off to the side. Here's one of the circuit breakers. Well, the map thought it was important enough to put it on there. And we can turn it on. So this house has some kind of power source. That guy... Trying to see which direction he's... Okay, I think he's turned back around, and now he's coming back this way. Which is his normal patrolling pattern. Here's the, the cottage. 
Let's just take a step in here. We don't want to take a step up there yet, because we do want to close this door. Otherwise, that Shibito will notice that maybe something's wrong. He's walking by the circuit breaker right now. I'm not sure if he can actually hear us walking on the glass when he walks by here, but he might be able to. Risa said when she saw the house, that wasn't there before. So I guess she's been around in this area. But this house wasn't? Oh, he's looking at the door. Okay. He was looking at the door for where we came in, but now he's just heading off on his way. Alright, we have a new archive item. Let's take a look at that. A drawing of a red flower and a medallion with the mana cross. The mana cross being the symbol of the religion of the area. And we're getting, you know, a, a taste of that religion throughout this game. We've seen imagery of red flowers before, but uh, haven't actually found any. That guy's a pretty good distance away. And if we're behind him as he's making his rounds, then I guess we don't really need to worry about him seeing us. Unless we make some noise, which we don't want to do. Yeah, he's right there. And the exit right there. If only we had some way of distracting the sniper. We can't run right at him. He'll shoot us dead if we try that. But another thing that was on the map is a doghouse. However, there's no dog around. So, but apparently one of the things the dog took was some qu uh, kite twine. Hid it in his house. You never know when you might need some. And now it tells us to lure the Shibito into the kitchen with kite twine. Might be not might not really be sure how you're supposed to do that, but I suppose we'll be going into the kitchen. But before we do that, we should take a little more of a look around here. Because Risa, you might notice she she's looking at something. And that's really our only clue that by the side of the doghouse is an old key lying on the ground. The camera doesn't really let you see that. But we can pick it up. And because of that, we have now completed the uh, requirements for an Objective 2 for a future mission. And now the camera's changed. Have a look at these items. Got the kite twine. We got a key to the Siren Shack. Well, we've been to the Siren Shack in a previous mission with Acura. But it wasn't locked. So maybe sometime in the future it will be. If we look at the map, I think this is the front door we're standing by right now. But clearly, we can't go into the house through that. Oh, maybe this is it. Yeah, it's bo Okay, this is the front door, and it's been boarded up. However, the objective did say to get into the kitchen and lure the Shibito there. Oh, someone's coming. Hold on. Let's get in here. Before he comes by, we're going to close this. And since this is a proper door, we have the option of locking it. I'll just we shouldn't need to do that, but... We can. Oh, because we left the door to the cottage open, that Shibito is looking around inside. He's wondering what's going on. But we're long gone. He's looking right through his neck. Yeah, so you can't... If you leave it open when you're in there, he will come in. For right now, let's look around this kitchen. Unfortunately, the door to the rest of the house is locked. So we only have access to the kitchen. But why would we want to lure a Shibito in here? And how? Well, the ventilator looks like it works. And that that's great for the ventilator. By ventilator, they mean a fan sticking in the, in the, in the window. The window that has been boarded up. You might notice that all of the windows that we've seen around in Siren have all been boarded up. And we've seen some Shibito hammering away on boards. We've seen a couple when, we're be when we've been sightjacking around this house. Yeah, there's one right there. So that's not a coincidence. They're deliberately boarding everything up for some reason. 
Why are they doing that? Maybe we'll find out later. For right now, something that we need to pay attention to is if we were to walk over here and just observe, it says there's a handle to a hidden storage compartment, but where is that? Doesn't look like there's a handle anywhere near us. Well, what we have to do is look down. Okay, you see that? There's like a, a floor tile. It looks a little bit different than the rest of the floor, and it has like a handle on it. To the right. Yeah. That's the hidden storage compartment. It's hard to see that one. You, c you probably will only come across it by accident. Let's open it up. Oh, guess what's inside? You know what that is. And you know what we do with them. And with that, that is the fourth and final marker. We have now pushed over four markers. For some reason, we won't know why for a kind of a while. That won't come back for, uh, for some time. But there is a cavity probably left by a seal sinking into the ground, as seals do. There are now four seals that have sunk into the ground. We'll just want to remember that for a good deal later. For right now, what do we want to do in the kitchen? Well, the only thing that seemed to be of interest was this ventilator that still works. What would you do with that, do you think? I mean, I suppose you could tie a kite string to it. You could do that. It's been tied to it now. And after you do that, maybe you turn it on? Except, you, before you turn the fan on, you want to connect this, the other end of the kite string to something else? Why would you even think about turning it on when you haven't done that yet? But what around here do you suppose we would want to attach it to? Well, it said we wanted to lure the Shibito into the kitchen, so maybe we would do that by causing some kind of distraction. So maybe we could cause a distraction by tying the other end of that kite string to something that looks kind of fragile, something you could tip over pretty easily. Like maybe maybe to this shelf right here. You can do that. All right. So we turn that fan on, and that string is going to drag this shelf over, is the idea. Before we do it... There's the sniper. And okay, there's the guy who's walking around. When I turn this on, I'm going to need to leave the kitchen, so I want to make sure that we have a good distance between him and us. So I'm just going to wait until he's walked by the kitchen. Give us a little bit of space. I believe he's walking by the door right now. It's to his left. Alright, I think that's okay. That should be enough. Okay. Let's turn this on. Alright, the kite string is becoming entangled in the blades of the ventilator, so let's... Uh, nope, get down in that. Yep, yeah, right there. Unlock this door. Open the door. And let's hide over here. And we'll just see what happens. Okay, that's been knocked over. And okay, the, sh the sniper has heard that. He's now running to the kitchen to find out what's going on. He doesn't know what's happening. The guy's walking around. We still do have a good deal of distance from him. Which is good because the kitchen's right there, so we're going to have to walk slowly past it so the sniper doesn't hear us. There he is. And with that, we can just run on out of the house. 
Mission accomplished. And yeah, we're gonna save. That was uh, quite a short mission. It's one of the shorter ones, our introduction to Risa Anda. We don't actually know who she is or what she's doing here, um, but she apparently got stuck in the middle of the village when the incident happened, when the siren went out and everything went to hell, and now she's look wandering about, not sure where she's going, encountering a house that wasn't there before. And we'll be seeing her later, but not quite yet, as next time we're going back uh, with Kay, and we're going to be doing something that uh, we may have seen before. Again, that was a pretty short one, but some of the missions are pretty short. I'll see you next time.